Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codes Arcade. In this session, we will be learning about a new concept which is regularly asked in interviews. The concept is a new one in Python which is the default constructors and the parameterized constructors. Before starting this video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos and also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates and at the same time you do not miss out on our future videos. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic is the default constructor and the parameterized constructors in Python. So as you can see here, I am inside my PyCharm IDE. So let me just go to my project window and here I will go to my Codus Arcade directory and let me go to my workspace only and here I will right click and create a new Python file. So let the name be constructors in Python and then I will press enter. So let me just minimize this project panel. So now let me tell you the types of constructors in Python. So it is a very important question which is regularly asked in the interviews. So there are two types of constructors. The first one is the default constructor. And the other type is parameterized. So these two are the types of constructors. Now let me tell you the definition of the default constructor. The default constructor actually is a simple constructor which doesn't accept any arguments. Its definition has only one argument which is a reference to the instance being constructed and that is also known as the self. And in case of the parameterized constructors, the constructor with parameters is known as parameterized constructor. The parameterized constructor takes its first argument as a reference to the instance or object being constructed and it is known as the self and the rest of the arguments are actually provided by us, the programmer or the user. So let me give you some examples so that you can understand better about the same concept. So let me first create a class and let the name be employee only because it is very easy to explain something while taking a relevant name of a class. So this is done and right now I will not do anything with this class. So what I will do is I will use the pass statement. And now let us simply create some instances or objects. So let the first one be EMP1. This will be the first instance of this class which is employee. So here if I use the parenthesis with this I created the first object of this employee class. Similarly, let me create another employee object which is emp2 is equal to again I have to call my employee class and follow by the parenthesis. So with this I have created two employees of this class employee. Now every object of a class has certain attributes. There are two ways to provide this or create this attributes. I will show you both the ways. The first one is we can write emp1 dot say name and if we provide equal sign and here I can give this name as say John. So this is one way of doing it. And similarly, I can do the same thing for the second employee also or the second object also emp2.name is equal to say mark. So this is one easy way of doing it. Now if I print emp1.name, you can see I am getting this option and again if I print emp 
two dot mean and for this two print statements i will get different results the name will be john for one and the name will be mark for one so let me just run this right click run you can see i am getting john for the one and mark for the other object so this is one way of assigning attributes to the objects that we have created and please remember the process of creating an object or an instance is known as instantiation so let me just comment it out and write it here instantiation this is actually creating an instance or object so instantiation means whenever we create an instance or object of any class it is known as instantiation now this was one way of creating or assigning attributes let me show you another way which is done by using the init method or the constructor that is actually the constructor so i will just delete this past statement and now what i will do is i will define the method double underscore init and as you can see here this is the argument which is taken by this method by default and that's why this is known as the default constructor or the init method and this self will actually refer to the object which is calling this method i will show you what i mean now so here what i will do is i will write self dot name is equal to i can write like this say john now what i will do is i will delete this two lines of code and here you can see i have used the print statements which were earlier written only emp1 dot name and emp2 dot name now if i run this you will find that in both the cases i will get the name as john so this is the example of the default constructor it does not take any parameters it has a default parameter which is self which will actually refer to the object which is calling it so if i just comment this out and here it is calling emp1 dot name so now in this case this employee one object is referring to this self or actually this self argument or parameter is referring to this emp1 because this is calling it so if i run this you can see we are getting the name john now in the second case also if i just remove this comment in this case also it will print the name john only because we have defined the name self dot name equal to john so if i run this again you can see here in both the cases we are getting john so this is the use of the default constructor here there are no parameters except for the default parameter which is the self which actually refers or represents the object which is calling it and suppose now we want to use the parameterized constructor or the other type here we have to as programmers or developers or users we have to provide the arguments so in this case what i will do is i can just provide this comma name and say comma salary as two arguments so in this case what we need to do is we do not have to initialize any names we can write self dot name equal to name and for self dot salary is equal to salary so now this arguments have to be initiated or assigned by us here so let me run this and show you the error that we will encounter in this case right click run you can see in it missing two required positional arguments name and salary because while creating the instances or the objects we have kept this blank here we have to provide the name and the salary so let me just do it for you say john comma 20 
and in this case let me keep the name as say mark and then let me provide the salary to be say 35000 now if i run this again you will find that just because we have this e1 emp1 dot name and emp2 dot name we are getting the names as John and Mark and suppose if I print the salary also print EMP one dot if I press dot you can see I am getting the attributes name and salary so let me print salary here and if I run this now you can see I am getting 20,000 which is the salary for the employee one object it's here we have defined it here this is the example for parameterized constructor. So this is a very important topic guys. What are default constructors and parameterized constructors in Python? I hope you have understood the topic and you can take as many attributes you want, say name, salary, department, etc, etc. Depending on that, you have to initialize the attributes here. Whatever attributes it you take in the init method have to be provided here. So this was a basic example that I took to explain you about the parameterized constructor as well as the default constructor. You can also call the parameterized constructor as user defined constructor because we are giving the parameters or defining the parameters which will be actually the attributes of the objects that we create inside the class employee. So if you have any doubts in this video you can post them on the comment section. I will be very happy to clarify them. And if you like the video, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And at the same time, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because it will help you to get in touch with the new videos that we upload week after week. Thank you and happy learning. See you guys in the next session.